So Metronomy, welcome to Latitude 2012. How hey. are you today? Very good. It's very warm in here. I mean, it, it is. It is. It's, it's fake summer. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it's very bright too. You should have stuck some pictures <laughs> of real summer outside. <laughs> Did you write your summery album in the winter though? Is that would I be right in thinking that? Um oof, well some of it would have been. Um but then because of like because of the way that I write stuff, it takes a bit of a, a while. Some of them probably did begin in summer, maybe. But then I, a lot of it was done in Paris, where the weather is a lot nicer, so it was easier to imagine it was summer. Mm. Right. And I, I did stick pictures outside the window. Does it feel strange playing songs that feel like summer songs when it's pinging down with rain? Not this going to <laughs> when you play today, obviously. Things it has been, hasn't it? Every other gig. Yeah, like, we played at a bunch of festivals on mainland Europe last weekend, and, like, four cities, four days, yeah. it rained in every single one. Really nice. Very weird. Nice parts of France. <laughs> Known for, like, nice summer. Just horrible. <laughs> but it doesn't feel... I mean, it's kind of odd, like, I guess there are certain songs which people are kind of, like, people are kind of coming to the set to watch or whatever. So I, they seem to just make an effort for that, anyhow. Yeah, I always that fully dust respect. It out in the rain. <laughs> yeah, people just like put on their cags or whatever and uh -huh. just stick with it. Whereas I lame out when it starts raining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, in terms of kind of, I guess the the idea of the English Riviera and the, do you feel like this area of the world has this similar feeling? I don't know if you've ever explored <laughs> around here very it. much. I've just been told about an incredible pier down the road. There is an amazing pier. The first time. I actually came to Latitude when we were playing like on this stage, on the mm. lake stage. We went to the nearest, I can't remember what it was, the town. Is it South? South, South Wald. Wald. Yeah, yeah. And they've got this crazy pier, which is made by a kind of artist. And that's where um, um, I remember you telling our manager like went for a walk, to, found a charity shop. I came back with what he'd bought from it. It was a big like old sweet jar type thing, just full of string. And then had a label which just said like potentially useful bits of string. <laughs> like, I think that's kind of you know it's not quite as glamorous maybe as uh, yeah. Devon. Is there beef between Devon and Norfolk? There's Norfolk beef between <laughs> Norfolk and itself, isn't there? They all think they're all idiots basically. <laughs> yeah. The um, have you um got a sense of, from on your touring of uh, an idea of global warming through the, the eyes of a band? Things we're we're, on the, on the, on the we're contributing plans. to it. <laughs> yeah. We try not to think about like what our carbon footprint would be when you uh, can take five flights in one weekend. Uh, it's crazy. That's but then actually, fun. like that's the thing. I think the funny thing, isn't it? Is that, well, it's not funny. <laughs> the interesting thing is that the global warming seems to be like. I think when everyone started talking about it, everyone's like, "Oh yeah," but secretly they're thinking it's going to get nice and warm, nice temperate climate here. But it's just rubbish everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> kind of strange. So um, how's the live show evolved? Because I think I've seen various different iterations of the show. Mm. How, where has it kind of come from in your head and where I actually think it might continue to head? It's, well, I mean, from the very beginning, it was never really, it's like it's never really been the kind of, the thrust of like, of what I do in a way. And so the nice thing about it is, is, that, is that the live show is actually, just it kind of it regenerates itself it's and like, it is kind it's of like Doctor Who. yeah 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 no it is and it's like its own thing so I don't know like by now there's there's four of us and, and Anna and Benga are kind of as well like now the four of us feels much more like the thing it's always been than when there were three of us and stuff like that um, and I think the nice thing is I don't think any of us have any particular kind of like kind of I don't know it things Vision. like things evolve very gradually. Yeah. Like people think we kind of choreograph what happens on stage, and it like we don't even really talk about it that much yeah. a lot of the time. It's just things change in very small increments, and six months later, the show is quite different to the way it was six months before. Yeah, you got to take it from the bedroom somewhere. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing, you're, <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing you get to write nicer places now, but or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, that's the nice thing about it is, is you realise like by now we're kind of having this amazing summer and like playing these great, like getting really good kind of billings at festivals. Like here, like mm -hmm. tonight, it's crazy. And so, you know, it's a nice little, nice little job, you know. 
Are you looking forward to seeing anyone in particular this weekend, or do you not get a chance? I just don't care. You should get to see <laughs> Janelle Monáe. Yeah, I'll see Janelle Monáe, that'd be exciting. And actually, I didn't realise Armadou and Miriam were playing on our stage as well. Mm. Um, so I'm quite psyched about that. Right now, though, aren't they? Soon. Imminently. Imminently. I'd be quite you know, curious to see Lana Del Rey, but I just, I probably won't bother. <laughs> like, I really will just, it is a bit muddy. <laughs> we love new music. And yeah. <laughs> really passionate about live music. Um, can you tell me a bit about the compilation records you're, you're doing with your compilation record, if, or do you only talk in metronomy guys when you're doing metronomy? <laughs> Sure, what you're referring to? You oh, mean the the instrumental mixtape thing? Yeah. Um, we can do. I yeah. Guess might do it. Is that all right? Yeah, I'm just gonna nod off. If he's, not, he's not allowed. He's not allowed to have other projects. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, it's like um, we we've been touring pretty solidly for like two years now, and I've been doing remixes for people, but they've kind of been done on my laptop, sitting in a van or then like a tour bus um and i just kind of thought like it would be cool for people to hear them in a slightly different way so i made instrumental versions and edited them slightly differently and got it mixed and mastered and stuff um and i'm giving it away for free hmm. um see like no business then. you can <laughs> <laughs> I'm also like really into people hearing things. I don't really like sitting on stuff for a long time. So I just kind of got bored of waiting to see if someone wanted to put it out. So I'm just giving it away. So the album's been out, I think, is my math right, about 18 months? Is that about right? Yeah, is, is, uh, is maybe slightly less. It was April. It was April last year. Is, is, yeah, is there anything new on the horizon? Or is there... Yeah, like I mean, I've, I've been dem well, trying to make demos and like getting getting very excited about like the possibility of the next record and it's kind of funny that I remember it happening last time actually like when like when you're thinking about what you want the next record to be like and then so like what's happened like in the last week or whatever like I've been really thinking about the next Metronomy record and getting very excited and then that the most recent Frank Ocean record came out and I listened to that and I was like oh okay brilliant like someone else is like doing the groundwork <laughs> because I know it's just nice when you when you hear like that's obviously going to be a really popular record and it, and the, the kind of space it occupies is so kind of unusual that like mm. it's really nice that because I don't know I quite like the idea of the next record being a bit like kind of self and like really self <laughs> after a Mercury nomination yeah, 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 yeah exactly, go, exactly you're yeah. encouraged to uh... yeah it's great I mean like now we've got more you know there are people there will be so many more people who are excited about a record than there were last time. I just, you know. Dare them to plunge. Yeah, exactly. into, into your indulgence. I won't be giving it away, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, who knows if there's even going to be uh, a music industry in the exactly. year. Exactly, yeah. It's the end. 2012. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah.